Hey, this is Thomas, and if you've ever considered growing your own food, then this is for you. And look, I can't grow anything, or at least I couldn't. I've even killed a snake plant. Do you know what a snake plant is? It's basically a plant that needs almost no water or light, and yet under my care, it died. All right, so enter the Let Us Grow self-watering hydroponic farm stand. This system is a set it and forget it growing machine. And as you're gonna see here in a bit, I literally spend minutes, minutes a week adding nutrients and pH down to the water to make sure that everything is as it needs to be so that the system can grow automatically. And it even comes with timers that control the water turning on and off and the lights turning on and off because we purchased an indoor system so that we can grow no matter what the weather is like outside. It's an amazing system and here's how it arrives, how you can set it up and start growing your own automatic garden. Now, we needed this system to be an indoor garden for us. We live in Texas, it gets hot in the summer, and now lately there's been really bad freezes in the winter, and we just didn't want to have to deal with that. So we made sure that this was an indoor system, and per my wife, it had to be aesthetically pleasing. So if that's something that's important to you also, then this system gets two thumbs up from us, all right? It was super easy to order, and it arrived in about a week. And if by the end of this, you think that it might be a system that's right for you, we do have a referral link that uh, we'll put in the description, and that you can use to get $50 off your system, or you can use our referral code FRIEND-Y9S5. Now this here is the pump. You can see that the uh, pump has a little adapter here and that we're gonna connect to the PVC pipe. That's gonna be how the water gets to the top of our growing system. And that's how the water is distributed all throughout the plants. And each one gets their own set of water. And we put the nutrients down in this base and that's how it gets pumped all the way through the whole system to make sure that each plant gets the nutrients that it needs. And here's the extender that we add on top of that. Now you will notice later here in a bit that the uh, plugs will go into timers and those timers will plug into the wall. Those timers in the wall have little 90 degree sort of bends to them, so you can't actually put two of them on top of each other in a normal uh, outlet on the wall. So uh, I will also put a description link for the G GFCI 5 outlet adapter that we purchased. Uh, and again, it's that's the GFCI because it's a protection for water. So if any water from the system were to get on the cords or anything like that, it'll trip. And that way, you know, it's a safety feature so you don't end up getting in trouble, uh, you know, damaging your house or electricity or burn anything down. So um, again, this is the light wiring, so you will only have this wire if you have an indoor system. Otherwise, you will only have the pump, and that will plug into the wall, and that's it. If you go with the indoor system, these lights have to be plugged into one another uh, to connect all the way up the system. They are, uh, you know, have little screws that are, again, protect them from the water on the inside of the system. And then each layer just stacks on top. There's little locking mechanisms with pictures on the side, so you can tell when you're sort of in place and locked in. And so you just continue to feed it up and do it for the whole system. So that's really pretty uh, convenient, pretty nice, easy to set up. And then you can see again down towards, towards the bottom, all those wires come out the hole there. And then that's how you plug it into the wall. And here's the pH kit. You're gonna have to make sure that you keep track of the pH weekly, making sure that it doesn't get too high or too low. And you add pH uh, to make sure that uh, it gets low enough. This little cap here at the top is what helps distribute the water when it gets to that level. And we put the lid on and that's the system. That's the whole thing. So that's how it comes. That's how you set it up. It's really pretty straightforward. Now, now comes again with the wiring and stuff. You just feed it through this little grommet here that has little places for each of the wires to go in. So again, you're only gonna have one if you only have the outdoor system with no lights. And then you can feed it down the back of the system there through that little feeding system it has uh, down the back. The wires come initially kind of pretty pretty firm. They're nice and thick wires, so that's good. But uh, to, you're going to have to sort of train them to be straight. That, that might take a little bit of time. But as we plug these in, you can see that, again, I can't plug them both in at the same time right now because, again, that 90-degree angle on the timers. And so you'll see here in a bit we ended up plugging in the uh, additional GFCI outlet adapter. And that's kind of how we got around that. Right now, that, that light timer, there's no timer attached to it. That's just plugging it in. This is the timer that you would want to attach it to. Now, here is the actual seedlings that come from Lettuce Grow. And as you can see, they come in sets of six, and they're just already pre-grown plants. I think they say they basically give you a three-week head start 
on growing your plants as opposed to if you just started with seeds and the uh, growing uh, medium there. So here's our different seeds, the different lettuce grow options, and they come with this little sort of explanation card for how to get started. Now we actually had a little oopsie. So here is filling up the water from water from our hose, but I forgot to drain the water out of the hose first. So when we put it in, it actually had kind of a not great smell because it was water that had just been sitting in the hose. So here is where you can actually attach a hose with an adapter to the top of your system and run the pump and that will actually pump the water back out of your system and you'll need that when you do your uh, quarterly reset. Oopsies on that one but then we refilled it up with water that was fresh water not the water that had been sitting there and then as you can see here's our little seedlings that arrived and we're going to take those and put them in these little cups that are their growing cups and then those are going to be set up in all these tiny little holes. Now you will know that there are some plants that are supposed to go on the bottom and some plants that are supposed to go on the top they just grow better and lettuce grow tells you which plants those are and as you can see here uh, now our system is set up with all our little seedlings and the next step is to take a look at the timers because you want to make sure that you have the timers for the water and for the lights set up properly and that's going to be based on what they give you in this little setup guide uh, so depending on whether it's indoors and outdoors how many tiers you have and so this is how i set up our timer for an indoor timer with three layers and then again here we have the glow rings so we only have three layers so we have three glow rings so we set up our timer for 14 hours of light and by turning the timers on we can show you not only what it uh, sounds like the water and also what the lights look like when it's turned on and this is basically simulating that the, the plants are getting water and that they're outside in the sunlight and if you look at the wall outlet, you can see our GFCI adapter. That's again for safety. We're gonna have that linked in the description so that you can purchase your own as well to keep your electricity safe. And here we are adding nutrients. Now this is a part A, there's a part A and a part B. And so you just add, when you initially set it up, there's four scoops of part A, four scoops of part B. How much you have to add each week after that depends again on whether you're indoor, outdoor, what season it is. And that's all in that setup guide. So that's gonna be dependent on your particular system, but you always start with four scoops to start and then you have to test the pH and so the pH you're going to measure five uh, milliliters here in this tube and then you're going to check with the uh, little dye that you put in it and check the color and match it and so you have to make sure the pH is proper for your plants to grow well and so again we just check this once a week and so adding in a few scoops checking the pH again this literally takes a matter of minutes a week and that's it everything else grows automatically it's a fantastic system for somebody like me who always overwaters or underwaters or isn't giving my plants the right nutrients this takes care of all the guesswork and it's set up with the timers to run automatically it is an amazing system for anybody who is not good at growing things but wants to grow things and once the system has the pH, the nutrients, and the water all in, then you just flip those timers on and it runs automatically. Now, speaking of timers, we did purchase the Blue Lounge Cable Box Cable Organizer. You can see that in the bottom right of these videos when we're showing the bottom by the floor. And that helps aesthetically just hide all those timers and the wires and all that so that it looks beautiful on the outside. And then you can just uh, have an aesthetically pleasing system that hides all the ugly wires and just allows these plants to grow. Now, this update is every few days days uh, and maybe a week of growth in between and you can just see how green how beautiful how lush they all look and I can tell you from experience it tastes fantastic and we have young children and so one of the other cool things about our experience is having the kids get to like literally watch their food grow it's really the type of learning experience that we can't give them in a classroom and so being able to do this at home is so awesome and so here you can see how well the plants have grown we got some strawberries some spinach some spearmint some basil um, all sorts of things some romaine lettuce there and it's just been really an awesome experience for me for my wife for my family it's been so cool so if you want to start growing your own indoor garden then I highly recommend this lettuce grow system. It is a very cool system. Again, it's hands off. If you cannot grow things in soil or on your own terms, then this is a fantastic system to get started with, to grow your own food. And again, if you want, there's a referral link in the description, $50 off your own system. And if you have any comments or questions about the lettuce grow system or anything else with the hydroponic growing that we're doing, then go ahead and put that in the comments. Let us know what you're wondering and we will address those as best we can. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will We'll see you in the next one.